Ka-chow! Are you for real? We had a great time making these characters in the movie. And we thought, wouldn't it be cool if these cars were real? And we got a hold of Eddie Paul, and he created Lightning McQueen and Sally. Eddie Paul's one of those guys who just won't say no. He'll actually find a way to do it. What I'm standing in front of is Lightning McQueen, which is the big character of the show. I play the character of Lightning McQueen, somebody who just wants to kind of go fast and win. What we started with is we took a Trans Am, we took the whole body off the car. So this car is made out of about 100 different pieces, and we glue the plastic together like building a small model car. And we're all done. We do the body filler on it, sand it, prime it, paint it. You do need a paint job, man. To us, it seems simple. Ramon will paint you up right. Okay, you got me out here. Where are we going? I don't know. Just getting the phone call that the real car, the life-size car, is there and made in the name of your character is like so fun. It's fun for all of us. This is Sally. She's a Porsche. We're making her full scale. We got to take a brand new Porsche, cut it in half, and we're putting it back together again. Sally came to Radiator Springs before McQueen did and fell in love with the town like he does. Well, how does a Porsche wind up in a place like this? I fell in love. We thought a car that has that kind of speed and power that would attract McQueen and has a lot of great curves and is gorgeous is a Porsche. Hey, do I spy a little pinstriping tattoo back there? Oh, you saw that? <laughs> the main thing is the spirit of the character. We want to make sure that Sally comes to life. It actually looks pretty good right there. Holy Porsche. Our cars kind of cartoon cars, so the wheels are scaled up and the proportions are a little cuter and sweeter. And then one of the main things is the windshield is brought up so we can read the eyes better. We're building something that is an animation that basically starts in someone's head that's changing constantly, so it's a challenge. They have to actually make it work. I mean, it has to turn and there has to be a motor in it. If we're gonna do it, we might as well do it right. Eddie Paul has this ability to make something out of nothing. He'll just take whatever's in his shop and roll and bend and weld and cut and fabricate and there's somehow a car there when you come back the next time. It amazes me. Everything has to be perfect. The good thing is I have one of the best crews of people you can get. We just want to dazzle them with what we can do here. This thing will travel the world. It'll be the hit of all the car shows. Kids will love it. And I like making things that make people smile. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of a surreal thing because I never thought we would actually make these cars. Yeah!